is your First Alert 5 weather with Jeff Matthews. Well, to look out the window, it was a beautiful day. Plenty of sunshine, hardly any clouds in the sky for most of the day here in the springs. Just a lot of wind and pretty chilly out there, especially when you combine the air temperatures with the wind. In Cripple Creek, much the same story, only a little bit colder, of course, but equally bright there as well. A quick peek at the Almanac. If you're keeping score at home, we came in five below the average for this time of year, not far off on the low side in the springs, and the hundredth was from after midnight last night that dribbled over into the early morning hours. Pueblo, much the same, 62, five below the average of 67 for this time of year. To cover sky cover, there's hardly anything to speak of. Just a few clouds north of the Mile High City towards Weld County. Otherwise, Springs, Manitou, and Colorado in the clear, as well as Pueblo and La Junta and Lyman and Kit Carson. All clear in eastern and southern Colorado in the wake of this intense storm that's moving through the Buckeye State and bringing snow to Madison and Green Bay and Eau Claire up to the Twin Cities and down to Omaha and flurries even still lingering down to Kansas City where they're trying to play ball. We have high pressure building in. That means a lightning of the winds this evening and overnight, a clear sky, cool temps, and behind it is a warm front. Ooh, that's good news. We're going to be seeing warmer temperatures for your Sunday and into Monday as well. So that's our next weather maker. As it eases eastward, it will push the jet stream north. It will tap into the warmer air and drive it up the front range for tomorrow, about 10 degrees warmer than today, but even more so on Monday. The only downside will be later in the afternoon on Monday, the winds will begin to pick up once again and that could escalate fire danger issues. Meanwhile, here are a look at your current readings about 30 or so in Monument Woodland Park, 40 in Springs, 45 in Pueblo and 47 in Canyon City. If we wanted to take a peek at tonight's low temperatures, there you go. Mid upper 20s around 30 up and down I-25. And as we go forward in time, here's the things you can keep in the back of your mind. Good news here, wind dies off. Get outdoors for Sunday. We'll get back to that in just a moment. Even warmer for Monday, but the red flag issues may return. So let's talk a little bit more about getting outdoors Sunday. Why? Blanket of blue, golden sunshine, light winds, and high temperatures climbing into the 60s. Again, about 10 degrees warmer than today. So your seven day forecast. I could say Sunday is the pick of the litter because it's going to be sunny with light wind, a crisp, cool start and a warm finish. However, we can beat that on Monday, 72. It'll be a little breezy in the afternoon, a little windier on Tuesday. There'll be a few hours of clouds in the early afternoon hours as a cool front comes through, shaving the temperatures back. We'll stay similar sky and temp wise for Wednesday into Thursday, but the clouds will begin to increase later Thursday and they'll really begin showing up by Friday when we may have a repeat performance from last night. Next Friday night, that's what the one is there for. Pueblo similar but warmer. Beautiful day tomorrow. Get out and about 68 for a forecast high 79 on Monday breezy in the afternoon and then pretty nice even though slightly cooler for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Maybe a shower or two Friday into Friday night. Canyon City your chances of rain Friday are even slimmer but that's the only chance. Meanwhile getting out and enjoy your Sunday dandy 77 on Monday and then 60s which is pretty seasonable for this time of year. That's reasonable. And then for Woodland Park, 54 tomorrow, calmer, nicer day to get out and about in Woodland Park and divide. 64 on Monday, but back into the 50s for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. A few more clouds on Tuesday and Thursday, and probably your best chance for some moisture is on Friday in Woodland Park. And finally, a lot of those trees are starting to bud out and uh, show their green. Yeah, it's time to play ball. Yes, you see the way I'm transitioning here? Good, good segue. Uh, speaking <laughs> of which, a day about. of history in Colorado Springs.